All right, I told you uh, two blades, reason for that. One, it's good to have one that's a scraper, so if you've got an old one, you can scrape off bubbles and whatnot. But two blades, super helpful. So, get your mud on there. You do your work, and then you wanna have a clean edge. So, you use one of these to end up with a cleaner edge, and then you end up with Two blades that are relatively clean. Um, if one of them starts getting dry, you don't want these little crumblies on the edge. So a lot of times I'll just take my finger, if you have like a line or like a smear on there, just two little fingers, wipe it on your pants, it's kind of like chalk. Once you're all done, done for the day. I told you that eight inch is your best friend because we don't want all this to dry on the edges. So you put the blade in here. And now the edges don't get all crumbly and dried out. The way you clean these up, um, they've got this nice sheen on them. Um, you don't need to scrub them with a scrub brush. You don't need to do much. You just clean them off. So one, let's get this edge nice and clean. And then I told you to save the box. This, this is why I like to do that is this stuff we don't want to put back in the bucket. There's not much here. We're not wasting it. You can see the crumblies on the edge. Bam. Got a little bit up here. Once this dries, like I said, it's thin. It's basically just chalk dust and a little bit of water is all you need. Um, if you're wearing pants that you don't mind, they wash out. It's not like it's going to stain it. But a lot of times I'll just get my edge nice and clean on my pants. Or of course, the alternative if you're that kind of person would be something like that. Like I said, water, it's all you need to clean it up. So if you want them Good as new. A little bit of liquids. I'm not sure if saliva will, you know, eat through the blades like Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, this is kind of an unnecessary step. I'm just showing you that if you really wanted to, you could, you know, get them super clean. But yeah, just. And then it's clean, and that's how you do all your mud, your cleaning, done for the day. Now, if you forget and you don't clean these things up right away, no big deal. Just soak them in a bucket of water for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, and then it just comes right off. A little bit messy, but it ends up looking beautiful. 